Hello? What's going on out there? Do I need to ask? That if I ask what is going on out there, that means I don't know what is going on out there. Oh well. I think it's a little bit on the left side of the time here. It's about 3.40 a.m. That's early in the morning here. And I'm still awake. Um, the light here is so bright, it's like uh, getting into my eyes. Um, and I'm here, I'm not here. And whatever I say here, I don't owe nobody no apology. Okay? And I'm not here to be politically or diplomatically correct about what I'm about to say. And I'm not here to say much. Okay? Yeah, all you out there flexing your military might, your army, muzzle, whatever it is, your Almagri style of whatever you do, remember, there are faces like this that you are looking at now that you have not seen. We are out there in the shadows, okay? We see how you've been killing, yeah, like you've been on a killing spree all this while. You threaten, you carry out your threat. A threat. You kill, you men, you rape, you pillage, you subdue, you subjugate, you do all that you can do. And then anybody can grab whatever they want, they like, and uh, throw it on the head of Igbo man, Igbo man, or whatever you call yourself. I don't know if you call yourself Niger Delta, if you call yourself um, South South. <laughs> man, all those names that got you carried away. Like you don't know even where you belong now. You're like a deceived and confused. They call you South South, Niger Delta, uh, whatever it is. It's like a golden ring hanging on the nose of a pig. So if you bear those names, then, then you have lost it. You don't have your identity. You know? So, Biafra man. Wherever you're coming from, it used to be called East of the Niger. Wherever you're coming from there, know yourself. Because your back is almost, if not already, against the wall. And I'm going to yell this out. Samson, Samson. Here comes the Philistines. You understand? Okay? And those of you with the let's go back to Egypt syndrome. You all need to get out of that mindset. You know? Things has gotten out of hand. Okay, now, all along, you know, we don't belong there. But at this time, since things are so obvious, it's no longer hidden, it's no longer a hidden secret. And uh, we've been putting up with it all this while. Look into your life. Just open your eyes and look within around you and tell me if you are satisfied with the kind of life that you're living in that contraption called Nigeria. Like they will say, Nigeria is a no-go area as it is now. So what are we going to do? What we're going to do is this. Step by step, we step out of Nigeria. They have come out, the so-called Arewa, whatever, youth, whatever it is. I did not see the police. I did not see the DSS. I did not see the army hovering over with a helicopter gunship, killing them. For declaring war on a certain section of the, con the so-called country, anyway. I didn't see that happen yet. I didn't see the youth failed by bullets from rusty AK-47s 
dangling on the shoulders of those Islamic Janjaweed. They call Nigerian soldiers or whatever call military forces, whatever it is. Breaking rules of war. Breaking military ethics and values and ethos. Breaking the Geneva Convention. Killing unarmed civilians. That's a no no. Now I don't see them killing, shooting at all those outside Marjorie. They call, um, what do what they call them? Um, uh, Arewa uh, Youth Forum. Coming out and openly declaring war, threatening. All along they've been doing this. And there have been no reprisal attacks or paybacks from the people they have met and doled out all these criminal acts on. And our people are so lily leveled. All they keep doing is moving on. You're moving on when your brother man is being killed, hacked down in the rose of noon. And you don't do nothing about it. All I hear you say, if this happens again, and at intervals, they come and fall mightily upon us. How long must we bear the burden called Nigeria on our shoulders? How long? Is it not high time that we lean forward in the foxhole and do what is rightful? What needs to be done? Are you scared? You don't want to be free? Hmm. You don't want to be free? You don't want to liberate yourself from the grip of evil? I don't understand it. I don't get it. Now, I don't want nobody to come out here calling me tout, miscreant, jobless, or whatever it is that you can coin out, cook out, doctor up, and call me. You don't call me that. I know what you know and that which you don't know. And I'm not happy about this. How my people are being subdued, subjugated, killed, pillaged every day. You tag them, them, you don't like them. You can let go. You don't want to let go. You're killing for the fun of it. And you think it's okay. And then you're killing. You don't want me to kill you back. You're killing. You don't even want me to cough. You don't want me to say nothing about it. Look in the words of Patrick Henry, a great American, when they were trying to wrestle out their way from the grip of that evil empire called Britain, that blood-sucking hound called Britain, he told them point blank in their face, today, 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 give me liberty or give me death. Choose one to give me. So why don't we have that drive, that mindset? To get what we want. How can we be colonized? People who didn't even spell a B. From the bull's feet. When we were, our people were fighting for independence. They didn't even want to be free. Now the British came. Gave us Bible. Told us. To turn the other cheek. When being hit on the face. And give them AK, rusty AK-47. They'll be crying out here, one Nigeria. What the heck is that? Somebody got to do so. We got to do something about this, folks. We don't have no functioning airport. We don't have no functioning seaport. In the east side of the so-called Niger. We don't have none of that. They froze everything. No jobs. 
no employment. Three, thriving business or businesses in Nigeria. Politics, crime, procession. That is what is prevalent there today. And they shamelessly, they shamelessly, they come over here. They see how this place is put in order, how things are functioning, like in a human setup. And they go home, they do otherwise. Oh well, like they would say, Nigeria, it doesn't fit, so you must acquit. It does not fit, you must acquit. Every now and then I see soldiers who are supposed to be professional soldiers killing people, singing and clapping in the street. I hear them use the word rule of engagement. Rule of engagement. I don't know what that is. From their own description of what rule of engagement is all about, I see them, they are generals, they are whatever. Oh man, this is sickening. Sick. Sick. People from Biafra, you know who you are. Stop pretending like you don't know where you belong. Stop calling somebody your friend when he's not your friend. Stop trying to please your enemy. They're not going to change. Stop playing the coward. Stop always walking home from the backyard like a defeated troop. Stop walking around with your tail between your legs. You got to do something. You got to have the balls to fight back. That is why I said, we've got to live forward in the foxhole. Make no mistake about it. Don't call me no names. Okay? Because I'm not here to be diplomatically or politically correct about what I'm saying here I'm mad seriously mad I am infuriated they have raised my ire it's not only the Alsas the Fulanis that have young men that can fight they're not the only one that have young men and women that can pull the trigger they're not the only ones that have young men and women that are technically proficient. That are tactically proficient. We can do all that far better than they can do. And I'm not happy about what is going on. They're killing. They're maiming. They're jailing at will. And they're bragging about it. And nobody does anything about it. And I see our people talking like they are lily liver. Talking about Tohaneze. Uh, let's do this. These are the kids. I ain't no kid. The people killing you, are they kids? The people telling you uh, that we are not here when they fought the first war and all that. They were there. They saw it. Why are they reminding us all the time by the actions and by the utterances of what they did to us? And they're happy about it. It's only in Biafra that millions of people were killed and swept under the carpet. It has never happened in the history of the world, ever. It has never happened. Ever, ever, ever. It's only us that fought war and went back and sat and relaxed. And went the way of those who killed us. We got to do something about it this time around. Out of our youth, we are youths of Biafra. And I'm telling you this, and I miss not my words about it. What the heck is going on here? They are taking our 
resources. Rendering us, rendering us useless, hopelessly. Doing things with impunity, with utmost sadism. Look at what is going on. Look at all the important... I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go that way anyway. Look at all the security, chief security positions. It filled all up with people from the same side, the same village. And it's all okay. We dare not say anything. Do things right the way it's supposed to be? No. We're going to kill them. We got army. We got police. We got air force. We got this. We got that. Bomb them. Kill them. Use helicopter gunship. Go to Goni land. Bombard them. Rape their women. Maltreat them. Make them see hell. Let them know that this is Nigeria. This is how we do things here. Go to Odi. Kill all of them. Give command. We are military. You're flexing your muzzle. That's bullshit. Don't pile bullshit. Okay? Ibo man, Ijo man, Ugoni man, I don't know. I don't know how you see yourself. I don't know how you see yourself. But know yourself. For your back is already against the wall. All these negative utterances, bragging about what they have done, what they are doing, what they are about to do next. Point blank in your face. It's like asking you, what you go do? What you go do? And you are a full-fledged man. After living like this, how much more about your offspring, your posterity? Those coming after us. They're going to live under the same condition. They're not going to be proud about us. We were there with our hands folded, moping, while all these people, these savages, subdued us. Folding our hands, we got property in Lagos, Abuja, and all that. You never know. You got your lives. But every time the outsiders back, you all start running to the east. Why don't you stand there and grip, lay hold of your property? Why are you running back to the east? And after a little while you go back again, they start hacking you down. And they make pronouncement with bo utmost boldness that you can go to hell. There's nothing you can do about it. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. What's going on here? It's time we've done something about this. Now, they have gone inside their houses and had their meetings and came out and made pronouncements. What you are doing? What you are waiting on? They are about killing your people and I see your governors grinding, running to Abuja, shaking the hands of a bloody killer, bowing before him like stupid slaves. What are we living for? This is outrageous. Oh, Peter Spectacle. Know yourself. Let us all come together and say to this one clarion call and do what you got to do. <laughs> I'm not going to do nothing here, but that's it. Okay? There are Thousands of us, probably this is your first time seeing my face. There are thousands of us in the shadows, okay? I'm not going to say thank you here. There's no room for embellishment here. 